Hello. Tonight our lesson is on y equals mx plus b. This is a form that we can use to describe any linear equation. So let's break it down. First of all, we've, we've been using patterns to demonstrate linear relationships. And so for our patterns, our variable y has been equal to the number of tiles that are in each of the patterns. And our variable x has represented the figure number of the pattern. So looking at this graph, we see that on the x-axis, if, if x equals the figure number, then figure 0 is right here. And for figure 0, there is one tile in that pattern. And then for figure 1, we see that there would be three tiles in that pattern, and so on. Figure 2 would have, according to this, would have five tiles somewhere over here out of our graph. All right, so looking at our graph, which describes our tile pattern, we can see that this letter B right here in our formula represents the initial amount in figure 0. And the letter M in our formula represents the growth rate, how many tiles are being added as we increase the figure numbers. All right, so here we have a graph. And let's say that Y still equals the number of tiles and X still equals the figure number. Now, since you can't have a negative figure, this portion of the graph we can ignore. So looking here at the origin, that origin is 0, 0. So that means that for figure 0, there are no tiles. So there really is no figure for figure 0. So this number here would be 0. And looking here at figure 1, figure 1 would have one tile. Figure 2 would have two tiles. Figure 3 would have three tiles. So each figure is growing by one tile. So our growth rate is 1. Therefore, our formula for this graph would be y equals 1x, and I can just write that as x, plus 0. Well, I don't have to write it since it's plus 0. So my formula, or my equation for the line, is y equals x. All right, so here we have another graph. And again, we're going to say that the figure number is on the x-axis, and the number of tiles is on the y-axis. All right, so looking at the graph, how many tiles are there in figure 0? That's right, there are three right there. So the initial amount of tiles in figure 0 is going to equal 3. Now, how many tiles are being added to each figure? Look carefully at the graph. When you go from figure 0 to figure 1, how many more tiles are being added? Well, if you said 2, that would be correct, because figure 1 is right here, and figure 1 would have 5 tiles. And here you can see, actually, that there's a point. x equals 1, y equals 5. So this tile pattern is growing by two tiles. So the growth rate is two. All right, so what would the equation of this line equal? What would it be? That's right, it would be y equals two x plus three. Here's m, the growth rate, and here's b, the initial amount of tiles in figure 0. 
All right, pause your video and write the equation for this line. Restart it to check your answer. Welcome back from pausing the video. Let's start with y equals mx plus b. All right, let's identify the initial amount, b. How many tiles are in figure zero? Well, it's one. All right, now let's identify the growth rate. How many tiles are being added to each figure? Well, taking a good look, I can see that as the figures increase by one, the number of tiles goes up by two. So these little triangles I'm drawing, those are called growth triangles to show how the pattern is growing. and it's growing by two every time as I increase the figure number by one. So the growth rate is two. Therefore, our equation will be y equals 2x plus one. All right, so how'd you do? Let's try one more. All right, so again, uh, let's ignore this portion of the line how many tiles are in figure zero? Okay, well that's zero. All right, let's identify the growth rate. As you go from figure zero to figure one, how many tiles are being added? Well, let's see, as I increase my number, figure number by one, the number of tiles goes up by three. As I go to figure two, I'm going to have another three, that's six. Figure three is going to have another three, that's nine. So it's growing by three. Therefore, my equation is going to be y equals three x, and then b is zero, so I don't need to write it. So here's my equation, y equals 3x. All right, that's all for tonight. Thanks for listening. We'll see you later.